Hi, I'm Drake. I'm one of the aquarium keepers here at the Toledo Zoo. Today, we're gonna to be checking out our jewel wall area and some of our baby seahorses. We have three different groups of baby potbelly seahorses. The largest group that you see here, these guys were born back in February. You can see that they are getting pretty big. Now, the next smallest group, these guys were born in March. They're just a little bit younger, a little bit smaller. And then in our little cup here, we have our smallest seahorses, which these guys were born just yesterday morning. Now, they're only a couple hours to a day old so far, so they are still very young. They're still figuring out how to swim. So seahorses have a very simple digestive system. They do need to eat constantly throughout the day. So our youngest seahorses, they are getting one day old brine shrimp. Now this is really, really, really small stuff. We'll feed this multiple times a day in order to make sure that they're getting plenty of food. Now for the older seahorses, these guys are getting a mixture of foods. So they are getting some really small mysis shrimp, some adult brine shrimp, and some adult mysis shrimp. Now they're getting more and more of that adult mysis shrimp as they're getting bigger and bigger because they need more food, but that is also what we feed our adults on exhibit. So every morning when I come in, I take a look at my tanks in order to make sure what tanks need clean, what tanks need scrubbed down. Oftentimes I need to wipe down the glass before anybody comes in. That way the glass looks nice and clean. So today we're gonna take a look in our upside down jellyfish tank. As you can see, there's a lot of algae on that sand. That is totally normal for these guys. Their light has to be very, very strong. Upside down jellyfish are actually able to to photosynthesize thanks to a mutualistic relationship with zooxanthellae. Now this is a type of algae that grows in their tentacles so the light on here is very strong in order to recreate the sunlight from the natural world but the algae also really loves this. So the algae grows very very quickly and we need to be able to clean that out. So we'll clean out some of the sand, sterilize it, and we'll be able to add it right back into the tank. On our jewel wall we do have some returning animals. You'll still be able to find our pot belly seahorses and our clownfish and anemones in exactly the same spots. Now the next tank over we have our shrimp fish and our garden eels and then we have three new tanks. So our two little tanks we have our dwarf seahorses. Now the biggest ones that you see in here are fully grown and we have a few babies in here. These babies are a couple of weeks old but when they are born they're about the length of a grain of rice and about half the width of a grain of rice. Now below that, we have our upside down jellyfish as I talked about. And then our last tank here, we have our lionfish in here. We have our largest chocolate chip sea stars. And we also have two different species of stonefish. I went to school at Bowling Green State University. I got a degree in biology with a specialization in marine and aquatic science. After that, I actually went to North Carolina, a small aquarium where I was an intern. And then I actually came up here to the Toledo Zoo, a temporary aquarium keeper here for about nine months before moving down to Florida. I had two different facilities and recently this past year moved back up to Ohio in order to work here at the Toledo Zoo. I love working here at the Toledo Zoo and definitely my favorite part is working with all the animals that we have here in the aquarium. We have a big variety and I get to take care of a big variety every single day. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you guys soon here at our renovated jewel wall and happy National Zookeeper Week.